Good evening. Here I am, second to last night out on the trip, standing next to yet another mosquito-infested body of water. This is called Clark Fork, and I don't know if it's a fork off of another major river. I don't have a map. There's no, uh, there's no uh, 3G or 4G service out here. I don't have my uh, Google Maps working. Don't have a paper map, so I just saw a sign that says Clark Fork. I don't know if that's a fork to a major river or not, but uh, it's a pretty major river right here. I am in Montana, between two little towns called St. Regis and another one I can't even remember right now because it's so small. And there's just this highway that winds between along this river, and it's pretty nice and scenic. My campsite is actually a couple miles away. It's just kind of in this um, ordinary wooded area not next to any water. There are far fewer mosquitoes, so it's a better place to hang out, but I thought I'd come down and check out the water side. So uh, today I started the morning in Banff, or outside of Banff, in, in the Banff National Park, but outside of the town, and just pretty much got up and headed out of that place because it was just a campground packed with people. So I was out of there by 5 o'clock or so, 5.30, and uh, went through the town of Banff, I was through there about six o'clock and I uh, thought about having breakfast there, but I could see that that place was gonna be packed. It was only six in the morning and there were already people walking up and down. I saw some of the restaurants through the windows were had a lot of seats that were already full. It was only six in the morning, so I wasn't really interested in sticking around for to see what it would be like later in the day, but that's cool. So it's a kind of a cool place. It's got some interesting buildings and architecture and a nice setting. So uh, left Banff and went on into Calgary. And I was just in time, just as some guy f f at the campsite said, I was just in time to encounter the morning traffic. So it was kind of fun at first, going through downtown, it was packed with people, packed with traffic, going through downtown Calgary, seeing it for the very first time. And uh, then I got onto the freeway to head south, and then it was just the jam. Then it wasn't especially fun. It was kind of like being stuck on Highway 101. Um, but anyway, it all cleared up. I made way way south, south out of Calgary. This is fun, just batting mosquitoes relentlessly. I make it back into the U.S., cross the border at a place, I can't remember the name of the border station itself, but the town on the other side is called Bab, Montana. B-A-B-B, -B, Bab. Little tiny place. At least it has a gas station. And, uh, yeah, the, the border crossing between Alberta and Montana it's pretty far out there. Still took a good 20, 25 minutes to make it through. Um, not me, but the people in front of me. I only took another minute. So that was the last border crossing. I've done six border crossings. Canada, U.S. Canada, U.S. Canada, U.S. And now I'm back. And came out at a town called Kalispell. I was pretty tired and it was hot today. It was uh, 91 according, to, I'm sorry, 96 according to one of those roadway thermometers. And everybody's wearing shorts, and uh, not me. I'm wearing jacket, and pants, boots, and helmet, and gloves. So uh, it was pretty hot. But uh, ooh, there was a fish. Something jumped. Something loud jumped. So uh, anyway, I went and just recharged. Got myself some ice cream and some cold, cold uh, Canada Dry ginger ale, and drank it. And, Drove another couple hours and made it here. It's at the Clark Fork, Montana. I'm probably another hour and a half away from the town of Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And that's in Idaho's panhandle. And about a half hour beyond that is Spokane, Washington. I'm just going to go back to my site now and make a can of chili and eat a can of mandarin oranges. And uh, I have my bug spray is almost totally gone. If you shake it, you can't hear any liquid left, but it's still spraying. I think in a little squirt tube, there might be a little couple more cc's left. I'm hoping that's enough to get me back because I didn't want to spend money on another thing of bug dope when uh, I already have some at home and I'm almost home anyway. So I'm hoping that tomorrow I'm not going to need it. And then I'll make it through tonight. So that is it for me from along the Clark Fork of some river outside of St. Regis, Montana.